Hey there guys, it's Attack on Samurai, and here is week 7 of the OBA League versus the, um, the Grassy Plain Rikus. So, I've been looking forward to this battle for a while. Um, I think this will be a really good battle, and, uh, good luck to my opponent. So, yeah, there's my team down there, alright. Um, so, yeah, um... Hopefully, uh, this battle goes well. Hopefully, my predictions were right. So, let's see. He's got, he brought... Okay, so he brought the, he brought the guard chomp like I thought. Fortress. Okay, I thought that. Chansey, I definitely knew was coming. Mew. Okay, I, I kind of expected that. Rotom, I expected. And Charizard Y, and Char not Charizard Y, Charizard I expected as well, so self Rock definitely going to be fun to have, so I feel like the best start for me is probably going to be Crocodile, I mean it's probably going to be Crocodile, so I think I want to start off with that, or I could just start off with, um, with Infernate. Because, I mean, Infernape isn't a bad start right now, so I think I'll start with Infernape. It's Sash, so it can live anything this, um, anything the Garchomp might do to me. So, I think this is alright with me. Uh, yeah, Intimidate, you, you, and that's everyone. So, good luck, you guys, good luck to the, um... Good luck to the, um, what's it called? Um, <laughs> the Grassy Plain Rekus. And, uh, let's have a, uh, fun battle. No hacks, please. That would be very appreciated. And, uh, yeah. So, who is he gonna start off with? I feel like he's probably gonna start off with... Mew. Ooh, I didn't expect that. Okay, so he's gonna start off with Mew. Um, as I start off with Infernape. So, right now, this is looking okay. Um, I'm a little confused as to why he started off with this thing. But, I mean, he's, that could be a soft spot for actually. I hope it's not, but that, that's probably it. Um, man, I wish I had written down his team. Um, I'm gonna go for the U-turn and switch out. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the U-turn right away. He may go into Garchomp, um, but I think going for a, U a straight U-turn is fine. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is kind of dangerous because he could be running Rocky Helmet on something. He could he, he could have it on his Mew, and I could break my Sash. I hope that's not it, but oh, so we scarf. Okay, that's good to know. So you scarf me. So I kind of expected something like that. So you was scarfed. Good to know. You turned that did a lot of damage. That's a crit. That's why. That's why they did so much. That was a crit. Um. Okay, so I can pretty much go on the crocodile and set up a free self rock because he's he's um he's scarfed into this. Um, so I'm just gonna set up Sulfur Rocks. Um, he may go on to, um, Charizard. Or he may go for, um... He's either going Charizard or Garchomp. One of the two. But that Mew is definitely Scar, so he's not gonna stand and go for another Psychic, because that's just plain stupid. And I know that's not the way he battles, so... I think Sulfur Rock is the best play for me. If he goes Charizard, then he made a good play. 
if he goes Garchomp, he also made a good play. I mean, if he if he goes in Charizard predicting Southard, then he made a really good play. But yeah, that that um that Mew had to be scarfed. I'm pretty sure it was. Um I mean, granted I don't have a speed increase in nature. Um I mean, a speed increase in nature for um for Infernape. But I feel like that was scarfed. I don't know why, but I feel like that was a scarf Mew. Um, cause I mean, I know that Mew's base speed is like it's like base 100 all around on all of its stats. So for it to outspeed me, I feel like it would have to be scarfed. So his Mew is most likely scarfed if it outsped me. Um, yeah, but I think going for the Silver is a good play right now. Um, he's thinking right now, he's probably deciding on going for Garchomp or something. We're probably going into, uh, Fortress. Or he's predicting a knockoff and deciding to go for Charizard. Uh, oh! Okay, so he's just fast. And Ice Beam does a heck of a lot. Oh, okay, so he's just really fast. So he's probably, like, timid. But I do get Stealth Rock so this is nice. Um, did not expect the Ice Beam, no, I did not expect that. Um, so that means he's probably expert though, maybe. Because he's not taking life or damage. He's not getting leftovers back either, so... So far he's shown Psychic and Ice Beam. So what is his other move? Wait, what could his other move be? Hmm. I don't really want to go for another Earth. I don't really want to go for another attack because I'm afraid the Ice Beam will definitely take me out. So, I think right now the best play for me is to go for um. Uh, I think I may have to go into Jirachi because I can take both of its attacks. Um. Yeah, I kind of had to go for that. Yeah, I have to go for um, Jirachi. Just that's the only thing that could take a hit from this thing. And he could go Psychic again too, so... I think going Jirachi is fine. Um, who's he? What's he gonna do? Don't predict Jirachi and go Shadow Ball. Ice Beam, okay, I did expect that. So Ice Beam, that's gonna do like no damage. Okay, don't freeze. Yes, alright, good. Okay, at that range, I feel like a U-turn will kill. Even if I am running timid, I feel like that will definitely kill. So I'm gonna go for it. Or I could go for a Street Flash Cannon. It's not bad either. Um, uh, I, I kinda wanna go for a Flash Cannon. I mean, the way how I did play Jirachi, he's probably thinking, okay, he's probably scarred. Because the way I had sent in, All right, but I guess he doesn't really know. He just thinks he just knows that okay, he brought it in to take the hit. So what's he gonna do now? That's probably what he's thinking. So I feel like he's probably gonna switch into Chansey to absorb the uh, attack. So I think going U-turn is my best play. So I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so he's gonna switch Mew and probably gonna go into Chansey, right? Three hugs. Okay, no, that's the um, Rotom. Okay, I did not expect that. Um, gonna get a free switch out, so this is nice. Okay. So, right now, let's see. What can I do right now? Um. What is the play right now? I feel like the play right now is to go for a frantic and go for a um, go for a stone edge, but at the same time, hmm. what is the play? I could th no, I can't thunder with that. What am I thinking? Um. I can't go for um 
for 83% because an overheat will most definitely kill me. So I believe that I should go for Tatsumi. So, okay. Should I go Tatsumi? Or. Hmm. Man! Okay. I know Infernape doesn't have Stone Edge, though. So. Shoot! Okay. I'm gonna have to. No. Set. I'm gonna have to try it. I'm gonna have to go for 80 for 83 percent and hope that I can live an overheat. That's the only thing I can do right now. Should have prepared. I should have prepared for the first team. I knew his team would be would be really really good, but I should have prepared. Okay. This thing's in here. No. He could be specs. He could be. He could be offensive. I hope not, but this is kind of my way to check to see if it's offensive or not. If it's offensive, then that's going to kill the moves and that may be game. But if he's not offensive, then I have a chance. So I think what I want to do is spore this thing. Should I? Yeah, I think sporing it's probably a good idea. So I think I'm going to spore this thing. Again, this is good because I get to check to see what kind of a what kind of what kind he is. Okay, overheat. How much is that gonna do? Oh, these specs. These specs. Oh, I lived on five. I lived on five. Hashtag five. I lived on five. How did I live on a five? How did I live that? That is ridiculous. How did I live that? He is definitely Specs, judging by how I live that. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. How did I live that? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay. Now. Now I feel like I should go for King Cool and go for the Stone Edge. Or knockoff, one of the two. I think I'm gonna go for King Cole and go for the knockoff. Okay, he's gonna switch out free hugs. Who's he going into? Mew? Chansey. Perfect. This is perfect. I get to I get a free knockoff. This is perfect for me. And I also get some regenerator health back as well. This is great. Okay, so King Cole in here. I get a free knockoff off. This is great. So I'm gonna go for the knockoff. He's probably gonna expect it. And probably gonna go for um Charizard. So I could break the Charizard Twitch and go for a Stone Edge. I feel like that's what he wants to do. Or he's gonna stack Mew. And then switch in Charizard and get a free Mega. Ooh, I think that's what he wants to do. I think that's what he wants. He wants me to go knockoff. That's why he sent in Chansey. <sighs> I kinda have to take the bait, do I? I mean, don't I? A knockoff will definitely kill his Mew. I'm predicting Mew. Or, no, I can't predict Mew. Oh, man. He's definitely got me in a good position. Um. Oof. I know that thing's coming in. That that Mew is definitely coming in. But how did I predict that Mew? Oh, that Mew is definitely coming in and, is, and definitely wants to die. I'm predicting Mew, and I'm gonna go for Chan and I'm gonna go for um, Drachi. Going to Mew. Going to Mew. Uh, oh, you know I'm faster. I think yeah, I'm faster. Going to Mew. Going to Mew. Going to Mew. Go into Mew. Go into Mew. Yes, you win the Mew. Yes. Wait, no. No fortress. I break it the wrong thing. So he gets free leftovers. And he gets his sulfur rocks. Shoot. That is not what I expected. I expected Mew, actually. Man. 
Okay, he played me right there. Um, if I hit him power fire, this would be great, but I don't, so... Or fire punch, if I was running an uh, offensive physical one. Okay, I'm gonna go for a U-turn. And bring uh, and get Infernip in here safely. He's probably gonna predict that I just go for a Volt Switch. That's probably what he wants to just go for a Volt Switch. Um. Yeah, I think the Volt Switch is pretty obvious. Mm. But I still want to bring that card jump. I still do. I'm gonna go Zapdos. Since I do have Heat Wave, and that will definitely take out this Fortress. I know he's gonna go Stealth Rock or Spikes. He went Jarable, okay. So he did expect, so he expected Infernape. So I do get some Rocky Helmet damage on this thing too, so this is also pretty nice for me. Okay, now I have to go Heat Wave. But he's probably expecting that though. He's expecting it. But I kinda have to do it anyway. So I'll go Heat Wave. Okay, he's gonna switch and go into a uh, Fortress, right? I mean, Chansey, yeah, Chansey. <sighs> oh man, I hate Chansey. I hate Chansey. I hate Chansey. Heat Wave missed anyway. Great. Okay, cool. I'm gonna Volt Switch now. Chansey is a pain. Uh, this is this is definitely a pretty good battle so far, though. Um, man, Chansey is a pain. Chansey is such a pain right now. Um, I do have to knock this thing off still. So I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch. Chansey is probably gonna go knock off. It's probably gonna go for Self Rocks, or he's gonna Toxic me. One of the two. Um, I feel like that thing wants to toxic me. There's really not much I can do about it. Uh, I kind of have to go with King Cool, but then I'll be in the same situation as before. He may go on a talk to me and predict, and predict, he could go Thunder Wave and predict talk to me. Oh, my Khalid. Or he could. I feel like he's pretty. Yeah, I feel like he wants to predict uh, Galley. So I think Knockoff is my best play. If he goes Toxic, then that's fine too. I mean, I think going into Crocodile is my best play, predicting Thunder Wave. So I'm gonna go for King Cool. But he's probably expecting that though. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Let's see what he does. He may go Seismic Toss too. That's a, that's another option he can do. Um, but I feel like a Thunder Wave is more likely. Seismic Toss, yeah, I had a feeling he's gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna go for the Seismic Toss, it's gonna bring me down to 50. Oh, man, this is Chansey. Ugh. Chansey is so annoying. Um, I'm losing chances to go for Stone Edge on his, um, Charizard. So this is, uh, this is definitely not a, not a good situation I'm in. Really not, um... But I think knockoff is my best play. I have to go knockoff. I have to. I'm going knockoff. Yeah, he's gonna switch. Gonna go into Fortress or me, one of the two. Fortress, okay. So he's went back into Fortress. Fortress is gonna take more self throw damage. Gonna go for the knockoff. This won't do anything. Oof, actually that did a decent chunk, actually. An earthquake may kill. Or it'll be like really close. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go I'm gonna uh test my luck and go for the earthquake. See how my sis does. Probably won't kill though, but it'll do a lot. Yeah, it did a lot. Name with spikes. Oof. Well that won't hurt Zapdos, but that will definitely mean but uh Infernape is done, so really nothing I can do about Infernape now. Um, I 
Kigo Earthquake again. Or I could go knock off. I feel like he's gonna go into Charizard now. Predicting another Earthquake. I'm gonna go Stone Edge, predicting Charizard. Go on Charizard. Go into Charizard. I don't think he is though, but go into Charizard. <laughs> Do it, go into Charizard, please. Please go into Charizard, please. I beg of you, go into Charizard. Go into Charizard. Okay, no. So is gonna hit. Is he gonna kill? That's gonna kill. Okay, good. He did get one layer of spikes up though, but that doesn't really affect me to be honest. I do get rid of his um, fortress though, which is definitely nice. So that means he can't rapid spin unless his um, Mew has defog as well. Then that can be a problem. But. <sighs> But I have like maybe two more switch ins with a crocodile, so I need to preserve it as much as possible so I can intimidate the Garchomp and the uh, Charizard. Because those two, as like I said before, are very, very <laughs> big threats on this team. They are very, very big threats. And they can really destroy me very badly. <laughs> That's how bad those two are. Those two are just really good. Um. But yeah, thank goodness I landed that Stone Edge though. If I didn't land that Stone Edge, um, he would have gotten a, another layer of spikes up. And then that would have hurt my um, Jirachi and like my uh, Galid as well. And it would also hurt Amoongus too. But Infernape would already be dead, so yeah. Kinda sucks that Infernape didn't do, didn't do much in this battle. I wanted to do a little more. So, who's he going into? He went in Charizard. No, 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 please no. Okay, sacking. I'm sacking this thing right now. I'm sacking Infernape right now. Infernape, you're getting sacked. I'm sorry, but oh wait, no, he's expecting that. He's gonna get a free. Don't do it. Don't do D dance. Don't go for D dance. Don't go for D dance. Don't do it. If he does it, I swear. Don't do it. Don't go for the D dance. Don't do it. Please don't. Please don't do it, please don't, please don't, please, please don't, I mean, actually I could have just went into, um, Zapdos so went for a Thunder Wave, I could have done that actually, I didn't think about that, it would have been much better, that would have been a really good play, um, but yeah, I need to preserve Crocodile for Intimidate, so, I think go. I think sacking in frame is my best play. Since Infernape is pretty much done for us because of the spikes from uh, Fortress. So I think sacking Infernape is my best play. So yeah, I'm gonna sack Infernape right here. He may go for a D dance predicting, my, predicting me to sack, or he could just make you evolve him before Dragon Claw. That's one thing you can do. So, yay, look at that, it's Mega Charizard X. Um. Okay, don't go D dance. Flare Blitz, yes! Okay, good, 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 okay. Okay, now I can go, so now I have options. I can go for Zapdos and intimidate him. Yeah, I can go for Zapdos and Thunder Wave him. Or I can go for Crocodile and intimidate him. I think intimidating him seems better. But I think going for a Thunder Wave with Zapdos seems more, seems like a lot better than doing that so i think that's what i want to do i want to thunder wave that zap that uh, charizard because charizard is not fun charizard is not fun at all i need to thunder wave this thing if i can thunder wave this thing i can outspeed it with Gallade. so get thunder wave he's probably gonna expect that though they're probably gonna go for um guard chomp i think he's gonna expect it and go for guard chomp I went roost. Perfect, I'll take it. That's actually fine. I will take that. I wanted that to happen. I wanted something. Something where he can get a free Thunder Wave. I will take it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Good. I am so glad I got that thing paralyzed. I am so glad. I am so happy. Okay, now I can go. I mean, I can little switch out. Go into Crocodile and intimidate him. And then I can possibly. If I don't get, if I, if uh, Charizard gets a pair of hacks, I can possibly stone edge him, stone edge him, or knock off something. Okay, we don't 
25. Got the intimidate off. Who's he going? What's he gonna do? Paralyze. D dance. Fuck. No, 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 no. No. I guess I'll have speed him though, I think. I think I can still have speed him. He's at neutral in one. So he may outspeed me. I'm doing for the earthquake. He doesn't have anything that can resist it now. So earthquake is my best play. Who's he have that can resist that? Um, okay, tries to last his flying type, bang. Um, Fortress was his defensive wall. He's probably gonna go into Chansey to take it. I guess he's calculating to see if Charizard can outspeed a uh, defensive crocodile after one D dance, even paralyzed. He may. He's probably calculating that right now. Yeah, getting this thing intimidated is very good for me, so this thing is now at neutral in one, so this is a good thing and it can also be a bad thing as well. But uh yeah. Earthquake. It probably won't kill, but it'll do a lot. Oh my goodness, that killed. It's over. I think it's over. <laughs> Oh my goodness, King Cool, you beast. You are a tank. You are a beast. King Cool, I love you. You are great. <laughs> That's great. Oh my gosh. Wow, I actually did not expect that. I'm being totally honest with you. I did not expect that. I honestly thought Charizard X would have lived that earthquake. I really thought it would have lived that earthquake. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy that Charizard X went down to that, and I know Charizard X has like a decent amount of bulk too, but still, it went down to an earthquake from a defensive crocodile. Defensive crocodile is great. Oh my gosh, <laughs> defensive crocodile is so great. Okay, Mew. Okay, so he's going to Mew now. I don't really have any priority. Um, I still kind of want to keep you around so I can intimidate his Garchomp too. Actually, no, it's not really that important, is it? No, not really. I guess I can just sack you then, since I don't really... Let's see. Okay, what does he have left? He's got Mula, he's got Garchomp, he's got Zangoose, and he's got Chansey. So, Zangoose, and that thing's not really too important, so... Don't really have to worry about Zangoose. Um, unless he's got... I don't, can the quick attack with Toxic was take out Kelly? I don't think so. I know Zangus has a lot of attack, but I don't think that'll be enough to take out Kelly. Um But yeah, I don't really need Crocodile. Um I do I still have knockoff for Kelly. So I think I'm good. I'm good when it comes to dealing with the Chansey. Um Mew, I can outspeed that thing with Jirachi. And... What else? Um... Yeah, I guess I can actually sack you. I can actually do a, a huge job, so... I'll just sack you off right now. I'm just gonna go for the Ice Beam, that's fine. Ice Beam was a good play, because he could have predicted a switch in into Zapdos. Um, so that was not a bad play on his part. So, let's see. Hmm. I still want to paralyze that Zapdos. I mean, I still want to paralyze that Mew. Because that Mew is really fast. Like, really fast. <laughs> I'm actually kind of afraid it could outspeed Gallade. Um. Oh, wait, I forgot Rotom. Wait, no, is Rotom gone? I think Rotom's gone, isn't it? Is Rotom gone? Wait. Chansey's still around, Garchomp's still around, Mew's here, I think Rotom's left because it's put to sleep. Or did I take care of Rotom? Who did I take care of Rotom with? I, didn't, I don't think I did at all, so... 
I did put that thing to sleep though, I remember that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Zapdos can live an Ice Beam from this night. I'm pretty sure it can. So I think I'm just gonna go for Zapdos. Um, let's see. Yeah, he still has Rotom left, so... I took care of his Charizard, and what else? His Charizard and his Fortress. So... Mew, Garchomp. Mew, Garchomp, Clip, Chansey, and, uh, and the Zangoose. So, Thunder Wave is my best play. Um, or no. Actually, no, it's not. I can just Volt Switch right now. Predicting Chansey. Oh, wait, no. He may go into Garchomp now. Ooh, that would be a good play for him, too. That would be a very good play for him. I could predict it and go for a heat wave trying to fish for a burn. But I think that's a little too risky. I think I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch anyway. If he switches, fine. If he doesn't, then, then that's fine, too. But he's probably going to switch into uh, Chansey. Okay, oh, he's actually faster. Okay, so he's got a Volt Switch, too. So he's definitely switching, switching into Garchomp now. That's a definite. He's switching into Garchomp. <sighs> okay, no, he's switching into Chansey. Why is he still switching into Chansey? That's confusing me. He could have gotten a free mech. He could have um, gotten a free switch in with Ch with uh, Garchomp. It's actually kind of confusing. Why did he do that? Okay, well, I get a free Mega with Tatsumi right now, so this is actually pretty good. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take some uh, self some spikes damage, but that really doesn't matter. So I got a free mega off, a free mega with a knockoff. So we can take it. And I know it really. Outspeed is um I can outspeed his uh, Mew. This is some jolly, and he's probably timid. So I think a knockoff would definitely kill that thing. Maybe. And yeah, probably not. I don't think so. But it'll do a lot to it. Or I could just go for the close combat and take it out. But I think going knockoff is better because I can potentially... Yeah, I think going knockoff is better. I'm going to go for the knockoff. He's going to switch Chansey and go into Mew. Or, or Rotom. Oh, he's going to go into Garchomp. Okay, well I get a free Mega off. This is fine. I get a free Mega and I get to potentially knock off a Choice Scarf if he's running that. On his um, Garchomp. So this is really good for me. Um, so knock off. How much is that gonna do? And now it's not Ice Punch for this thing too. So he's probably Rough Skin Rocky on that. Let's see. Oh, Short Scarf. <laughs> oh man. I oh, oh dang. He was Choice Scarf. That means he actually could have beaten me. He could have beaten me actually. Ooh, he could have beaten me. He really could have. He could have beaten me with that Garchomp. I think that Garchomp was his winning condition. That Garchomp and that Mew were his winning conditions. Now he doesn't have them. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I'm looking for the Ice Punch. He's probably going to switch. Ice Punch, dead Garchomp. There goes Garchomp. Alright, Garchomp's gone. Uh, gonna take some self rock, some rocky, some rough skin damage, but that's fine. He's gonna go into Mew. Um, yeah, so I think I pretty much win. <laughs> I think I win, actually. Rotom's put to sleep and can't really do anything. Um, Mew is weakened, and I outspeed it. And Chansey is lowered by Stealth Rocks. So this is kind of GG, actually. This this is potentially a GG. This is potentially a good game. Uh, this is potentially the end of the game, because you really can't do much. I mean, I don't have priority for a uh, for Gallade, so he may need to. If he's like, if he's running two scarves, then no, I doubt it. He switched up his moves, so he's not scarf. But I guess it depends on his Rotom. I don't know what his Rotom is actually. His Rotom is the one thing that could save a Mew. Mew's back. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure that thing is that thing is pretty much dead. So I'm just gonna go for the knockoff again. Potentially switch if he switches out or something. Um, but yeah, me's pretty much gone. You can't do anything. Um, it's not scarfed. It's not defensive. And it's at red HP, so it's not gonna do anything. So yeah, knockoff's gonna take that thing out. And I get to see what kind of me this is. Oh, crit. Didn't matter. <laughs> crit wasn't necessary, but whatever. Um, oh, expert build. Okay, I, I had a feeling he was running that. That did a lot to, um, did a lot to creep it out, and Psychic did. I mean, Psychic brought, uh, and frame it down to its sash. Um, so, yeah, he's got this thing left. I mean, so, now all he has left is Chansey and Brodom, which those two really can't do much. Um, especially since Chansey's all alone, so close combat. Probably gonna take that thing out at this range, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for that close combat, and that's pretty much gonna be a dead Chansey. And then Rotom, I'm pretty sure he's not defensive, because that did a lot to my um, because that close combat did a lot to it to my um chant to my uh, Amogus, so. There's a chance that he's that he was probably offensive, I mean, a uh, offensive Rotom. So yeah. So now chance he's gone. Now all he has left is Rotom, and Rotom is put to sleep. He is asleep and really can't do anything. And also self are up. So Rotom is pretty much done. Um, but yeah, that was actually a really fun game. Um, that was very fun. I didn't expect it. To be like that but yeah that was really fun uh so now guys we are five and two in the league we are five and two after like what two losses i think we've had so far yeah, after two losses and like five wins <laughs> man we are doing really well um so yeah we've only got like a few more weeks left until the uh, OBA league is over we've got like i think three more weeks and then there's the um, finals, and I think that's pretty much it. So, good game to the Grassy Plain Reikus. Um, That was very fun. And, yeah. So, like I said before, we are the, we, the Attack on, the, what's it, Attack on Samurai, the, the Black City Samurots are now 5 and 2. And that was an amazing game. Good game to Brad Mew, coach of the Grassy Plain Reikus. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next OG League battle. And I think our next opponent is going to be. Let's see, next week is week 8. I think next week is going to be. Uh, I think we're going to be battling the uh, North Hill Crooks again, I think. I think if that's how it works, I think. But, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in another OBA League Wi Fi battle.